Hi, I am Dr. J.C. Lu, the NASA Chief Scientist for Orbital Debris at the Johnson Space Center. And hi, I'm Brian Corley, the lead of the ISS Trajectory Operations and Planning Group at the Johnson Space Center. Welcome to Mission Imagination. This aluminum block is about half an inch thick, and this penetration damage was caused by this tiny object here. Its diameter is only one-eighth of an inch. The impact speed that caused this damage was seven kilometers per second, which is actually lower than the average orbital debris impact speed at the International Space Station altitude. How is the crew protected from orbital debris? The space station has shielding to protect it from small particles about the size of the end of your fingertip, or one centimeter. For larger particles about the size of your fist, 10 centimeters, we can track those from the ground. If they pose a risk to the space station, we actually move it out of the way. If the space station were to be penetrated by orbital debris, the crew is trained and has procedures to detect the leak and patch it to save the ISS. And here's one other flooding example. And this was the Shire River in Mozambique. And this was in January of last year, 2015. And once again, if you see the, the uh, city to the top of this image, and that's uh, Sanjay, and again, very likely to be impacted by the flooding here. There's also an airport, if you look to the very top as well, that could also be impacted by this flooding. So I understand we can take these photographs and then also uh, stitch them together into video. Can you tell me about that? So I understand we can take these photographs and then also uh, stitch them together into video. Can you tell me about that? Yes, we can. That's, that's a project that we really enjoy doing. Our staff really enjoys that. So the next video that you're going to see is actually a video of, at night going across Africa from the northwest uh, portion of the continent down to the southeast. And here you see, uh, and also in the background there, which is beautiful, is the Milky Way that shows in the background there. We're going across now the Sahara, Sahara Desert as the ISS passes over continuing on towards the southeast. Uh, now we're at the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and continuing on more smaller cities throughout the continent. And here we have Harare, Zimbabwe, and Pretoria, South Africa, now at the very end of this video. Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Ricky Arnold. Welcome to Mission Imagination. NASA astronaut Scott Kelly and Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Korninyenko are spending a year aboard the International Space Station, a unique microgravity laboratory orbiting the Earth at 17,500 miles per hour. That's five miles per second. The information we learn during their time off the Earth is preparing us for new missions beyond low Earth orbit. The International Space Station plays a huge role in helping us one day put boot prints on the red planet. The year Scott and Misha spend in space is teaching us new things about how the human body adapts to space. We are learning lessons and solving problems as we head towards the next big leap. And that's where you come in. We need your help. Can you take the systems and solutions we currently use on the space station and figure out how we can apply them to long duration deep space missions? It is time to put science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to work. Something we do at NASA every day. Join Mission Imagination and take the challenge. I know that you're up to it. Inspire, explore, engage, Mission Imagination.